Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the 1,000 Fabulous Sandwiches of 1965, we're going to be making the tuna chili sandwich. Uh, now, unlike almost every recipe I've come across that has chili in the name, this does not use the Heinz chili sauce. To drained, flaked, canned tuna, we add chopped celery, tomato sauce, a pinch of oregano, and a pinch of chili powder. That's where it gets the chili. Give that a mix mix. And then we put that onto bread. And yeah, I'm using the butts. Gotta use the whole loaf. Okay, let's give this tuna chili sandwich a go. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. I do like the chili powder in there. Celery is bringing a crunch. Oregano is bringing a little herbaceousness, but um, I do want to plus this up. I add some provolone cheese. I'm gonna put it under the broiler. Okay, let's give this tuna chili sandwich plussed up with a little provolone cheese and a blast into the broiler. Go. That is better. Actually, I'm tasting more of the oregano. I'm tasting more of the chili powder. And the cheese is nice, uh, kind of like rich binder. It's almost like a tuna melt, but I don't want to say Italian-esque because it, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Well, I have to say the original tuna chili sandwich, I'm going to have to give that a four, I think. Um, just regular room temperature, tomato sauce, chili powder, oregano, tuna. It was okay. It wasn't great. Plus up with a little provolone cheese and then put on the broiler to kind of toast up the bread a little and get the cheese nice and melty and kind of wake things up with the flavors. That's probably like a five and a half. I'll finish it for sure. Will I make this again? Nah, too many other sandwiches to get to. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.